Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So today is a new day and we're gonna go to a Copart and do a walk around, check out some awesome builds. Some stuff I'm just like, wow, I don't know what people are gonna do with it. Maybe there's some cool ideas you guys could write below what to do with some of these builds because they're pretty wrecked. But before we go to the yard, we're gonna do some research and now we got a new tool under our belt, Epic Vin. So basically we've checked the history behind the cars before we buy them because it's all about doing the research, guys. You can either make money or lose money right in the beginning. So it's good to know the history behind the vehicle before you buy it, invest so much money and time into it, and then you end up knowing there's so much like damage behind it. So let's go ahead and check out the cars we wanna look out. Let's do some research behind with Epic Vin and see what we can find out about them. Okay, our first vehicle that we have to check out is a 2020 Jeep Wrangler. I always wanted a Jeep and honestly, they've been going a little bit much. I almost picked one up and had engine issues. So I'm just gonna check this one out. It looks pretty bad. It's definitely burnt. There's not a lot of information on there. We don't know how many miles are on there. It's zero because the engine is burnt. So this one will definitely take a lot of time. It's a fairly big project, but let's see if we can figure it out about it. So you can still tell it's a Jeep, but man, that thing is burnt for sure. Wow, the whole front end is just destroyed. But look, the tires are still there. So that's nice. Man, those tires are resilient. Even the whole engine burnt off. Doesn't look like the airbags deployed, so that's good. But that engine is gone for sure. I mean, you're gonna need everything new over there, but you know, wire harness, every single fuel line. But we've done some burnt vehicles before. It's not the end of the world, you know, just like our other vehicles, but it's just gonna take some time. But like I said, there's no miles on there, so we don't know what's going on. So let's go check out the Epic VIN. So all you do is just go to epicvin.com and then type in the VIN number, and boom, you're gonna get everything you need about the vehicle. So no problems with the odometer, because it is a 2020, so nobody like actually, you know, messed with the odometer so far, so that's good. There are some safety recalls that are open, but that's the least of our problems right now. But there's actually three accident issues, so we'll check that out. The mileage, it says 18,600, so that's nice. It's nice to have a ballpark idea of how many miles are on there. Even though it's a 2020, some of them could have a lot of miles. So that's good. Sales history, three sales found, two other owners. So these are all really good information to have before we invest a lot of time and energy into the vehicle fixing it. Owner history, that's pretty cool. Just keep scrolling down, odometer check, no problem, actual, nothing really been tampered with. So this is all the recorded, you know, miles, somebody gets an oil change, go to the dealer or something service, and then they log it. That's nice. Fuel system, gasoline, hoses, lines, and fittings, wow. So that's an open recall, and this thing burnt like crazy. So maybe that's relatable? I don't know. That's kind of interesting that the fuel system gasoline hose lines are... A cracked fuel line supply may leak into the engine compartment. <laughs> that's crazy, guys. Maybe that's exactly why what happened here. Very interesting that that's the open recall, and this one's burnt like crazy. Anywho, let's keep going down. Junk salvage. Yep, we know it's a salvage title, so that's okay. But that's interesting that it played before in Texas, but now we're here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Wow. That's interesting. So, in September, that all happened. And then September 27th, it was a Copart, but now we're in South Carolina. So maybe somebody else bought it and now it's selling it again. That's interesting. Fire brand, salvage brand. Yep, that makes sense. Engine burn. You know that much. It's okay. Here's the auction pictures. So even if you're buying a vehicle, you know, a used vehicle, it's good to do some history on it. <laughs> Check it out, see what happened to it. I like the window sticker. That's really nice to have as well. So you can see, you know, how much the base price was. They paid 31000 for it. So it's pretty cool with the window sticker, you can tell all the packages that they have, all the different trim levels that they purchased. So it's got the customer preferred package 225, you know, it comes with the wheels, leather wrap steering wheel, which is pretty nice, which ours might be burned anyways, but that's interesting. Alrighty, and then price here, dependence. That's interesting, wow, it definitely jumped up, but the window sticker price is only 37. This is saying it's 70,000, that's crazy. So yeah, really good summary, I would say. A lot of information with this VIN report. Honestly, really good to have. If you're interested in buying a vehicle, I highly recommend doing some research behind it. All right, next on our list that we want to check out is a 2021 Corvette Stingray 1LT. Man, this thing is definitely wrecked. 
Um, looks really bad in pictures. Man, it must have been a bad accident. But at least the inside looks okay. Just airbags deployed, did their job. The rear looks not bad, but man, no miles on it. So let's do some research on it and see roughly how many miles are on this thing. Okay, here we go. So it does have some issues with the odometer. We don't really know what it is. So nothing really been reported on it. I guess it's such a new vehicle. All we know is the last reported was five miles. So they didn't drive this thing much at all. Didn't really get a lot of oil changes or any records on it. So it's still kind of sketchy to know what's going on with it. Some open recalls, the powertrain, driveline, drive shaft. Okay, so it looks like this thing has played before in Virginia on May 17, 2020. So somebody bought it and now they're reselling it here in South Carolina. So that's really good to know that somebody bought it and couldn't use it or they took the parts that they needed. So definitely have to watch out. The pictures do kind of look similar from the auction, but yeah, that's interesting. Oh wow, there's a lot of junk inside before they just took it and cleaned it up. Very interesting. I do want to see this thing in real life just to check it out. What else is there, but... Okay, so it played in Virginia, and now it's playing in Spartanburg, South Carolina. That is very important. So if somebody already got it and messed with it and reselling it, we're definitely more hesitant on buying those vehicles just because you never know what happened and why they're reselling it, but hmm, interesting. Yeah, this thing is definitely a crazy car. It'll be fun to rebuild one day. All right, next on our list, we have a 2008 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. This thing still looks pretty mean in the front. Man, classic. We had a Shelby GT500 before, red. It was pretty sweet. We liked it, you know, it was fun to drive, but this one's got rear end damage. Um, interior looks pretty good. No airbags deployed. Really clean. Look at that supercharger. Man, so sweet. That belt. Um, yeah. So I typed this in into Epic Ben and I found this one actually played before as well. So somebody bought it with the same damage. Everything looks the same from some other spot in Spartanburg. They bought it somewhere else in South Carolina, but now they're reselling it in Spartanburg. So the dealer bought it and now they're flipping it or they found more damage that they don't want to fix. So I'm kind of sketchy about it, but definitely do want to check it out in real life, see what's going on with it. A couple other issues with the miles, so 76,000. That's not bad, but some issues were found with that using Epic Ven, so. And just be harder when you're reselling it. People are going to have questions about it, what's going on, what's the story behind all that, and it's hard to explain. So the less red flags there are, the easier it is to sell it. All right, so after doing a lot of research, I feel a lot more confident. Let's go ahead and go to the yard and check them out in real life. All right, out here in the Copart yard, there's about 200 cars playing this morning. So I'm gonna go check them out. Hopefully we can find something good. Like I said, we did some research back on the computer, so I feel a lot more confident about what I'm looking at now. But let's go ahead and walk the yard and see what's out there. And would you look at that? Three out of the four cars I really want to check out are right here, right next to each other. That is very rare. Usually they're like scattered, you know, miles apart. But yeah, boom, there's my burnt one, there's my wrecked one, and the Mustang right there with the rear damage right there in the back. So let's look at this one and work our way down. So there's the 2021 Corvette. I love the color on it. Man, this thing, they look great coming down the road. So the engine, let's see if we can get this open and check it out. Looks kind of dirty, but it's all there. So without having power to this vehicle, it's really hard to open the trunk. Um, I mean, I'm pressing the button and pressing all the buttons, but nothing's happening. Obviously there's no power, but man, that engine alone could be worth, I see it for sale on car parts for about $21,000. So this thing has definitely got some value in it just for the engine itself. I mean, and then you got you know, tail lights, maybe exhaust, one good rim. So there's definitely still money here. I mean, the interior, Probably some stuff that's salvageable. So if you wanted to part it out, this will definitely be a vehicle. I don't know about fixing anymore. I don't know if this thing's ever gonna see the road again, but lots of good parts on it. Suspension wise, I mean, brakes, all this stuff is definitely high dollar and worth money. So somebody's gonna pay a good penny for it, but let's watch it play live. So this side is smashed pretty good. It's all fiberglass, body panels, and no rim on there so this thing is gonna be hard to even maneuver getting it forklifted on and off i'm sure you're scraping everything underneath it just sucks when there's no wheels at all to lift it off the ground man this side is definitely destroyed from the frame to everything but man 
looking up close, it's like, yeah, this thing took a pretty good beating. Interesting to see how much it plays for. Moving right along to our neighbor. Here's that burnt Jeep we were talking about. I just think it's crazy how the safety recall was the fuel line that could be cracked in the engine department causing an engine fire. So that's probably what happened here. Hence the recall, but man, let's see how bad is it. I can open up that hood, bees flying around. That's great. I mean, it looks bad, but at the same time, once you gut all this stuff out, sandblast it, you know it should be fine you could tell the belt's not even melted off so it didn't get that hot yeah i mean the wires are you know all exposed but honestly everything can melt if the heat is strong enough so plastic pieces are still there you definitely need a donor vehicle to get this done because all these parts would add up to be a lot but everything's possible interesting Let's check it out if there's the fire spread farther down or if it's just the engine compartment. Looking underneath the vehicle, that's not bad. I mean, transmission pan's right there. I wouldn't say it's horrible. Aluminum fenders melted off. The door got singed. The flames definitely went this way, but hey, it still works. Unknown uh, miles, but now we know we got a ballpark where the miles are. Doesn't seem like it got inside too much. Interior seems okay. A little singe here and there. But doesn't even smell bad inside. Guess our window's open to get some fresh air. But yeah, nice. There's the exhaust. Came off. Detachable exhaust. So when you're inside and there's no miles in the car, you always look for the oil sticker. And there we go, there it is, 21,000. So we thought, you know, at least 18. So it's been a couple months, 21,000. That's pretty close to the ballpark that we thought. And obviously it could be a little bit more than that. You're still assuming, but not bad at all. Still fairly low. For some reason the tail lights have been messed with. Don't know why, I mean, it's still there. I don't know why they did that but took off the spare tire and both sides maybe they had some aftermarket stuff going on they took it apart for some reason to get their parts back interesting but yeah looks okay got some rough country suspension shocks on there so that's pretty cool looks really clean underneath here so that's nice the fire stayed to the front and the back looks good all right so let's go ahead and see how much this thing goes for like i said it's playing today so we'll be able to see the price um, yeah, it was really nice doing the research on it so I could get a better feel for it. Second, yeah, because this thing definitely played before, so I'm sure they're going to want to get their money back and make some on top, which isn't bad. You know, it's part of the game. That's all good. We'll see. Definitely a build we could do in the future. Here's that 2008 Super Snake. Man, that's really convenient. They're right here next to each other. So they move everything that's playing into the sales yard. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but it's pretty cool how they're right there. So let's check it out. Obviously it's all about that engine for these cars. So let's pop that hood. Dang, look at that thing. Oh yeah, SVT, supercharged, very nice. So this ain't no 50 V8. This is actually the 5.4 liter v8 about 500 horsepower stock so honestly it's a good bit of power right there you can find them on ebay and stuff two three thousand dollars so not bad at all honestly but that supercharger being on there you're definitely looking a lot more but 
I really prefer the hit to be in the back with these engines because they got the coolers in the front with the engine oil and everything like that. So it's recommended, <laughs> highly recommended for the, the hit to be in the back, just like this one, because we had bought one with the front and then they ran out of oil on it and always messes the bearings. And then you got issues farther down the road. So this is definitely ideal. It just kind of stinks that we know it's played before on the insurance auction the way it is. So it's kind of like, man, you don't know why they let it go, but interior does look pretty good. They stole the shift link, you know, the shift ball, but whatever. It's not a big deal at all. Airbags are there. It's really clean for 2008. Doesn't seem like we have any power. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could be able to bring a jump box with this, but no power there. But man, nice. I like it. This thing's definitely a Shelby. 58,000. Now we're closer to 70. So the good looks pretty good. Let's check out the bad. So it's pretty weird how it's just completely gone. Rear suspension and on the floor. The frame doesn't look like it's been bad. Even the control arm looks fine. So I don't know why they took it apart and just left it. I mean, just using parts or. I don't know, fishtailed probably and messed things up and then they took it apart or something kind of a weird situation. I'd say let's look underneath it, but I can't get that low. Overall, the quarter panels look good. You know, we need a new bumper, rear suspension parts. I just honestly have to lift it up with the forklift and see what's really going on for undercarriage damage. So it's mainly all about the engine in this car, but I can't start it and hear it run. It's very unfortunate. It looks pretty clean. Let's go ahead and check out how much this one goes for. So that was pretty quick. Let's go ahead and walk the yard, see if anything else catches our eye. And then we can just check the VIN fax information on with Epic VIN and see if we can pick something up today. Walking around, it's an interesting Jeep. I mean, honestly, these are all the parts that you need for our other one. Yeah, the hood's messed up, but how about the inside? So engine, I mean, radiators, all the hoses, all the connections, check this front end basically and just put it into our burnt one and you're good to go because obviously the rest of the body looks pretty bad interesting let's see how much this one goes for too calculate the cost just a rough estimate a what if scenario put these together how much it cost you minus all the labor and work obviously but that's on your own dime interesting huh that's interesting check out this camaro place today as well dang pretty interesting so it's got some side damage right here. Not too bad. These things are actually worth a lot of money, surprisingly. But yeah, let's do some digging. So this is a 1985. It should have a 5.0 V8 in it. Dang, let's check that out. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Hood's having some issue opening. Some stuff is messed up on it, but that's interesting. But there it is. Got that metal in manifold on it. Oh yeah. Whew. Seen one like this playing for about $15,000. And you're able to get all the information just with Epic VIN, checking it out. I was looking at, and it says that the mileage actually has some rollback um, discrepancies, I guess. So it was recorded for like 140,000, but now it's saying it's 70,000. So that's kind of a big deal. So maybe they got a new cluster or something or something's going on, but man, the interior looks pretty cool too. Definitely retro. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Toggle switches, pretty neat. So I'm just gonna get the VIN number, go on my phone and do some more digging about it. So back in 2003, it had about 70,000 miles and now in 2020, 
2022 it's got 70 some thousand miles so that's a little sketchy and with these classic cars like that you definitely want the miles to be you know adding up so definitely get some red flags there i don't have to pass but check out the final price how much this thing went for So it's pretty cool just to walk around and see the vehicles in person, but it's awesome how much information you could find online with Epic Vin. We'll definitely leave a link down below so you guys check it out. I highly recommend it if you're serious about buying a vehicle to do the research. Research is number one to figure out the history behind it. Make sure you got all the green lights before you click and buy because like I said, 200 cars are playing today and that's just this morning in this yard. There's thousands of cars playing, so it's very important to do your digging before you buy it because then when you put all that effort into fixing it selling it it's gonna be a lot you know you feel a lot easier about it because you know you did your research on it so make sure you check out epic Ven. we'll leave the link down below in the description highly recommend it all right guys let us know in the comments below if you think these could have been good builds bad builds if you'd like to see us actually rebuild a burnt jeep one day obviously not this time but it's all good like i said we're doing the research you have to put the time in and just gather information because nobody's going to tell you about it but we're here to help you tell you about it so it's nice to know but thanks so much for watching guys stay tuned and we'll catch you next time